good day everyone so i'm going to walk us through my solution regarding uh, this problem now looking at the instruction given a, met, uh, a mathematical expression as a string we must result the results as a number um, and we have some condition set and uh, one of the some of the criteria involve ability of um, this algorithm that needs to be written to support multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Then um, the, uh, another clause is, uh, is parentheses, which signify parity, which of the operation needed to be um, um, calculated for soft force. And based on another condition being set here, we have some and we are given some valid number. You can see it from the screen. Um, then we have the invalid, but some key thing is that we should not worry about validation because all information that will be sent are valid, ID, uh, valid inputs. Now looking at um, the solution being done, we have um, the, the, we have two functions. We have the main functions and we have the like utility function that help to solve the criteria. So for us to um, implement this solution, considering first thing we have to consider parentheses, we need to check if there's parentheses in the operation that needs to be done. Now we have um, this check if there's parentheses from the input. If there's no parentheses from this input, then it comes here and that indirectly uh, call soft math function. Now, what do we have in soft math function? Soft math function is um, actually a function that help us to uh, to do some arithmetic calculation. Like for example, in the case where we have like one minus minus two, we have one minus like where we have double negative um, signs coming together, we need to find a way of what interpreting what it does, what that means. So that means when we have um, uh, negative two negative signs existing having together, it has to turn to depending is either is into replaced by empty string or a positive number because negative nice negative give us a positive number. Now the condition that determines which of them is, for example, we have like let's say we have like minus three divided by minus minus four. In that situation, you know that minus times minus four give us plus t4, and that's to be blank for the arithmetic to actually work. So, for example, in the case we have like one minus minus three, which is, which is that minus minus three means one plus three. This is what changes that um, uh, formation, that um, arithmetic to something the ag algorithm understood. Um, this blood of uh, this uh, uh, block code actually detects um, uh, multiplication because we need to do multiplication first. You know, we follow the pattern of parentheses, then we have more multiplication come first, followed by addition and followed by subtraction. So we have uh, multiplication first. This code handles every multiplication in that um, in that code in that input string being passed. Then this code, um, uh, this um, code uh, handles uh, uh, neg uh, like um, handles. I can see multiplication. The first code handles division. The second code handles multiplication. This third block handles uh, uh, what do we call um, like addition. Why the last one yes handles uh, subtraction. So. What this does is now when input expression is being passed, this replace all as we have seen from uh, from the likely valid number from the likely value input that are coming. We uh, we have a space of uh, now having uh, a space in between. So firstly, we need to take care of all these spaces so that uh, the um, the string the string will be predictable. Now when we take of all the, we take care of all these spaces, then we check. Um, um, the uh, the first appearance or the forceful appearance of a closing and closed bracket. 
And this is what the, this does. Check if there is a closing bracket, then navigate through it. Then we have the current index. Current index is the one controlling how we move from how we move from the first um, character in that string to the last character in the string. Then the index of uh, the index of where the opening bracket is being found is being stored here. Right. So um, this check if we have opening version. If we have if an open um, bracket is being discovered, it sets the find index into current index. Now. It stops that until it sees a complete open and close bracket. Once it sees complete open and close bracket, at that instant we have we already have um, the starting point of that close bracket. Then yeah, this gives us the closing index of the close bracket. Then we uh, the next thing is to solve the expression from that. We create you are creating a substring from that expression. Then we solve that expression here. Yeah. Right, which is passed through soft math, soft math function, and this soft math function calculates it, then return the value and replace the value in the string, and this is like going from a this uh, actually controls how you move from one character to another character in that imputed string. Now, once this is done, now this handles this only handles when we have parentheses. After we remove all parentheses, then we are left with just normal arithmetic with uh, having negative, positive, um, uh, multiplication and division sign. Why this undoes that, right? Once th this is, uh, the input is repassed here, then we have the final results being, in, uh, being returned here and we return it from this um, um, code, um, from this input part. So that is just the summary of how this algorithm is done. And this algorithm is test on test. You, ca you can see it's going, I'm running the normal test. That is a normal sample test. Then I'm running the real, uh, the real submission test, which has been run already. And you can see that it has already, it has already, no, it has, it has already passed. So just to check, these are cases that has been done. You can see this is my solution and and I've been rewarded, uh, and I've been rewarded for for this. Thank you for listening to um, the solution provided to the um, to the um, um, code given to the um, challenge given. Thank you.